videos in a while where I'm kind of walking and like chatting to the camera a bit. Not a proper one anyway. But we're uh, in the Fitzgerald River National Park. Um, hopefully the audio comes out on this because it's a little bit windy today. But we are uh, we spent the night in the park and we are now doing the east east Barrens Mount Trail. So this should be good. Should be a, it's not going to be that hard of a hike, but I'm looking forward to it. As you can see, the view in the background is incredible. Oh, yeah. Today's going to be another good day. <laughs> Prepare me for that call Dropped to my knees, threw my phone against the wall Said you were gone and I didn't believe it This isn't real, I just gotta be dreaming It's never fair, you were taken way too soon Feels like a knife in the heart and open wound Won't ever heal cause I'm trying to make sense Of a world where you're not in existence I know, yeah, I know we never know a time But I don't
So we reached the end of the hike. I'm just gonna head back down now. What a view. This hike's been great. Although one thing I thought about whilst I was on, on the hike was, uh, I wish I could have done this with someone, another road trip, you know? Like, I, um, this is my third road trip in two years that I've done on my own. I nearly had someone that said they might come with me over the winter, but that didn't happen. But yeah, it just would have been nice, you know? Someone to share in the hype and like to go out and they find spots and like we can do shit together. But it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Just would have been nice. I mean, how can you complain when it looks this good? Oh. Unfortunately, so we were meant to go do a hike 
and then sort of drive straight through the middle of the national park but the road ahead of us is uh shut so yeah we're probably gonna have to turn back and just drive all the way past hope town again and circle back up to ravensthorpe and then around which is a shame because i was looking forward to like driving through but oh well it is what it is unfortunately so um something to do with die back fit of Fethora die back some sort of disease that's killing the plants here so they've closed the road and not letting anyone through unfortunately but we've had a good crack and we'll turn around and i'll probably catch up with you when i get past ravensthorpe and get back on the road properly but yeah let's see how we get on on the other side of ravensthorpe now which is something i never thought i'd say ever again seeing as ravensthorpe is a suburb of in my hometown of dewsbury so i'm from westborough which is one of the suburbs and then ravensthorpe is one of the suburbs next to it um, and yeah ravy from where i am or from where i'm from is a pretty nasty area you wouldn't want to be caught there on a on a dark night in the middle of an alley or in the street or anywhere so uh oh the ravy terror squad that was the local gang from ravensthorpe back home but anyway it's nice to know that the ravensthorpe out here is seems much nicer on the face of it seems like a lovely rural country town in outback wa yeah. But um, we've got about three hours till we get to Albany, which is where we'll spend the night. So we'll probably get in there at about two thirty, chill there, catch up on all of my editing because I'm I've done the first two days worth of editing at this point now, and. So I'm behind by like four days. So I need to catch up and get stuff out. So it'd be good to be, I'm gonna box myself into a hostel, so I'm just gonna chill there, have a shower, charge everything, do all my editing, and then tomorrow set off again. So yeah, be good. Let's uh let's get into it. quick car thought that I've just had. So since doing my road trips in Australia and New Zealand to some extent as well, um, my sense, perspective of a long drive has drastically changed. Like back home in the UK, I mean, I didn't drive back home in the UK, but even if, say we had to drive anywhere, like mum was driving me, I would drive into a gig that would want bands or stuff. A long drive would be an hour plus. Or like, it used to take 45 minutes to drive from my house to my grandma's house if we went on a Saturday. And that was a long drive. You drove to London, that was a long drive. That was like a four hour drive. That was a long drive. And then since like coming out here, especially now I'm doing these long hauls across Australia, like <laughs> I'm doing a four hour drive today, plus all the driving that I did this morning, like around the national park. So maybe five hours of driving today and it's just a hop, skip and a jump to me. Yesterday, to get from Esperance to Hopetown, 
it was a two hour drive and I didn't even bat an eyelid at it. There was two hours in the car, it's fine, just sit down, put my music on, done, charge my phone or something. Even when I went from Euclid to Westbrook, that was a nine hour drive, nine to ten hour drive. I kind of looked at that and went, yeah, that would be long, but it won't be bad. Longest drive I've done was from Gore in Queensland to Griffith, which was 1100 Ks, over 1100 Ks, and it took me with stops. 12 hours, 13 hours, that was a long drive. And halfway through that, seven and a half hours in, I got to Dubbo and decided, I've only got another four hours to go, might as well send it. Instead of being like, I've done seven and a half hours of driving today, I should probably can't, like, have a rest. Nah. I was just thinking about it then, just a little car thought, like these drives now anything between like two to six hours is nothing now whereas back home you go and do a five hour drive you go from Leeds to Edinburgh probably even further a like six hour drive you go from Dewsbury to, to Cornwall and like I'm doing these drives to get like this far across the map now it's just nothing it's funny how like it your perspective on things change like that. I don't know if anybody else has had that since travelling or something like maybe let me know, let put a comment or message me. Yeah. 